Well, Elizabeth Kingia Anopheles has, uh, is somewhat unique in that it's also been isolated from the midgut of the Anopheles mosquito. That's where it gets its name from. Uh, it is mostly a waterborne pathogen. There was a large outbreak involving almost 70 patients, approximately eight, 19 or 20 deaths in three states, Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan. Uh, to my knowledge, at the end of that outbreak investigation, there was, there was a very thorough outbreak investigation conducted by the CDC and the Wisconsin Department of Health, um, including, including food, food sources. Uh, I mean, they, they investigated all types of sources. And at the end of 2016, at least, the, the uh, origin, the, the, or, uh, the source was, remained unknown or unidentified. It is associated with water. Uh, pure speculation, the, the, all those states are around the Great Lakes. Is there some association with that? But again, that's speculation. Uh, for clinicians, it might be confusing because it, it underwent three name changes. So the Elizabeth Kingii is named after an investigator at the CDC, but that genus was originally named Flavibacterium. And then several years ago, that was renamed as Chrysiobacterium. So currently, even in, in many of the diagnostic platforms today, the, the, uh, the genus is, instead of Elizabeth Kingii, they, their cards they're, they're haven't been updated. So what's, what it's identified as is a Chrysiobacterium. But currently, they're called uh, Elizabeth Kingii. And Chrysiobacterium or Elizabeth Kingii meningoseptacum is has been associated, and investigated, and uh, responsible for causing outbreaks uh, of meningitis, especially in neonatal, uh, in neonates.